guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this pattern right here for this crop top is basically like a little corset kind of bustier top i'm not sure if i'm saying that right i wanted to show you guys how to make this pattern in a different video because i'm going to be using for basically the next video here on my channel and i wanted this video to be as explained as possible because i'm pretty sure that if i do on the other one the video is going to be probably like one hour and a half long so i'm basically going to be explaining everything how you can make a pattern for this specific top right here and i'm not going to be using another top to create it i'm going to be using measurements and a few techniques that i've learned with my auntie with my my mom and everyone that <laughs> sews in my family and this is going to be an easier way if you guys want to make in different sizes as well because i know that we are not all the same size but yeah this is basically what i'm going to be showing you guys i really hope you guys enjoy today's video so let's begin with the tutorial i'm going to be using gift wrapping paper because i don't really have a pattern paper you guys can just go ahead and use anything that you guys have so our top is going to be something like this the front sweetheart the front and the back is going to be straight before we do the pattern we need to take a few measurements on our body so you will need the waist here the bust circumference the length for the top here at the front and also the length for the back. So my bust here is 86 centimeters. My waist is 66. The length here for the front I want around 20 centimeters and for the back I'm gonna be doing 16 centimeters. And now you can just go ahead and divide these two numbers here in two. For the waist here is 33 centimeters and for the bust is 43 centimeters also remember that if you guys need to leave already here the centimeter for the sewing you can do that i'm not i'm going to be doing exactly um, where i need to cut for the top to fit me and then when i'm cutting the fabric i'm going to be leaving that one or half centimeter that i have to leave for me to basically do the sewing so basically the seam allowance so we are going to be doing from zero here all the way to 33 centimeters so this is basically the back of the of the top and then we are going to be getting here the length that we want so we want 16 centimeters so you can just go ahead and draw that line for the 16 centimeters and then you're going to be repeating that to the other side and now you can just go ahead and close here the rectangle so now you're going to be dividing the 33 centimeters by 2, so that's 16.5 centimeters. And you're going to be creating a little dot right here so we know exactly where the middle is for here the back. And we are just going to be creating a line connecting here to the top because we are not going to be using all of the other lines. We are going to be creating new ones with the top measurement for the 43 centimeters. So now you can go ahead and divide the 43 centimeters by 2, so that's 21 and a half centimeters. And then you're basically going to be putting the 21 and a half centimeter right here with your measuring tape. You're going to be creating two little dots, one here at the 43 centimeters and one here at the beginning of the tape, of the measuring tape. And then you can go ahead and connect the bottom here of the top to this dot here on the 43 centimeters once you've done that you can go ahead and connect here the lines to the side connecting to the very first line here that we've created right at the top you do the same on the one on the other side so once you have this completed you can just go ahead and cut all of the lines make sure that you don't cut the ones here on the inside make sure that you cut the ones on the outside so you can just write it here back and back and you can go ahead and also cut it right here in the middle because we are going to be doing two parts so we can actually put on the top so we're going to be adding some buttons here at the back also remember that we are going to be adding buttons or if you want to add a zipper at the back um, make sure that you write buttons or zipper here to remember that when you're cutting the fabric to leave like extra fabric right here so we can actually add the buttons or the zipper now we are going to be creating the side so basically the front of the top 
So you're gonna go ahead and measure that. We know that it's 16 and a half because we were doing it before. And you're gonna go ahead and divide this one by two again because we need this for one of the parts here for the front. So it's 8.25, okay, so right here. So we are going to be placing this one right here. So now you can go ahead and here in a little angle and mark where the 8.25 centimeters is right here and I'm just going to be kind of creating a line right here so now we are going to be measuring this again we know already but just showing you guys so 21 and a half and we are going to be dividing that by two so that's around 10.75 centimeters there we go make sure that that line it's aligned to here once you have that measurement you can go ahead and create a straight line right here so 1075 is around here and I'm going to be creating a straight line connecting to the back here of the top and now you can go ahead and connect these two lines here that we've created as well so now we are going to be measuring from this point to this point. So I have 22 centimeters. I'm going to be dividing that by two, so 11. And I'm creating a straight line here just so I know exactly where that centimeters is. As you can see, just a little straight line. And you can go ahead and connect this two right here as well. We are not gonna be cutting it right here. We are going to be creating a little kind of like curve right here now. So now you're going to be asking someone to hold this on your back and then basically from this line all the way to the middle of your breasts, your nipples, you're going to be measuring that. Mine is 12 and a half, so right here, and you're going to be basically marking this point down. So from where this one ends all the way to basically your nipples. So 12 and a half for myself. Now here we are going to be creating a straight line connecting to this point all the way to that point here at the bottom. And right here we are going to be creating a little curve. I don't have any curved kind of rulers, but I'm gonna be hand kind of drawing. And this is also something that you can fix uh, when you're sewing. You can just go ahead and sew exactly what you need. What you're gonna do is basically connect these two lines, creating a little curve. And then this one is already going to be... You can just curve it a little bit, don't leave like a point right here. And once you have this one done, you can go ahead and cut the pattern lines. Make sure that you don't cut any of these lines right here. And also we are going to be cutting two of these, okay? So I'm going to be folding here my wrapping paper. And I'm going to be cutting two exactly the same. So I'm going to be writing right here side boobs so at least we know where this one is from. So you're gonna get the side boobs, now we're gonna be doing right here in the middle. You wanna make sure that they are here on the waist 33 centimeters apart. So zero. 33 centimeters. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to be creating a line right here and right here, connecting these two points here at the top. So now you're gonna be turning this, you're gonna be connecting this one to here and this one to this side right here, as you can see. And then now you can go ahead and follow the little curve right here. And now you can go ahead and do the same on the other side. Twenty-two, so that's eleven. So we're gonna do that here. And we're just gonna be creating a little line here. So we can do the cleavage. You're going to be deciding oof, how much you want for your cleavage. I'm going to be doing five and a half centimeters. So now you're gonna get a bra that you like. 
you're gonna place it down and you can just do a little curve just do on one side because the other one we can do we can copy this side just gonna do it right here as you can see just the top and then I'm going to be now kind of connecting this line all the way to where we want the cleavage now we're gonna be cutting the cleavage is basically this is the 20 centimeter here um, for the front of the top that we want so you're gonna be placing your measuring tape right here where you did the 20 centimeters go down as many as you want for the cleavage so I did five centimeters so now I'm just gonna be cutting around and copy this one on that side just fold it to this side show you guys how you're going to be assembling everything together I'm going to be using this um, bed sheet right here like an old one that I do for kind of like patterns and things like that I have here double as you can see we are going to be cutting two of the side boob because of course we have two parts so we're going to be cutting two because here is double the fabric that I'm just going to be cutting one right here and then two of these as well right here and then one of the front one also make sure when you're placing it down you leave a little bit here on the bottom because we need a little bit of seam allowance right here now you can go ahead and cut it around making sure that you leave half or one centimeter right here for the sewing you also can use a chalk if you want but I'm just going to be doing a pattern so I'm not gonna be using just leaving that half centimeter here seam allowance get your fabric scissors and you can go ahead and cut it When you're doing this particular top you have to cut double for every piece because then you're going to be joining them together and then putting it together and turning on basically on the other side and it's going to be sewing it properly parts together for sewing you're gonna be joining these two together of course if your fabric has a right side then you're gonna be having right side right side facing each other okay reverse and reverse and then you're gonna be putting them together and then you're gonna be pinning it right here and you're gonna be doing also for this side going to be attaching the sides and the one you're going to be attaching to the side right here to the side boob is the one that it's angled as you can see this one is straight and this one is angled so this one you're going to be attaching it to here placing it right on top and pin that in place So once you've done that, you can of course go ahead and sew where the pins are and I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you guys how it looks like on my body as well. So this is how the top looks like once you sew basically all of the parts together and this is how it looks like once it's kind of closed so now I'm just going to try on pin at the back and show you guys how it looks like on so this is basically the top when I have it on as you can see I've pinned also around one centimeter at the back so it kind of 
I don't know if you guys can see. It looks like this. It's a straight at the back. And then sweetheart here. The front. Which I really like. And that's basically the style that I'm gonna go for for the next stop. And yeah, this is basically how the pattern looks like. Also, you guys can find more information on my website. I'm going to be doing an entire post on this top and I'm also going to be uploading the parts, exactly the measurement for each part if you wanna do these ones as well and also for printed versions, okay? So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give a massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so you can watch more videos like this one and also the next one which is going to be using this pattern right here to create a very very cute stop so stay tuned for that video and see you guys soon bye bye